The time has come for the last assault upon the fortress of Dol Guldur. The fighting begins, even as a smaller force enters the citadel in secret, prepared to face their final foe. Welcome back everyone to Skull Machine 102, where today we will be running the finale for the Mirkwood storyline, the battle in the tower. Apparently somebody is wandering off scale there. Alright, there we go. I had to hit F12 twice in order to reset the UI, and that's the way to deal with wandering circles in the radar. But now I need to deal with wandering trolls in the b tower of Dul Barad Guldur. I guess would be more proper since it's the tower on Dol Guldur where we are at. Now let's let me for once remember to prevent him from stunning me. And there you go. Oh, he is he's a tough lieutenant, that's for sure. There you go. Now your turn. It gets a little tougher once you get into tier two, that's for sure. There we go. The entrance hall, it has been cleansed of nasty things. So let us clear the entrance hall and defend it from the vicious mobs that will, I'm sure, come and take us. Hello there, Sigalette. Yes, the battle rages on. Our foes will fall behind us like wheat stalks at harvest time. We can only hope so. And oh, it doesn't help that the Defender of the Vial is... Oh, he survived! Okay, I guess the mobs are a little bit tougher tier 2, so... I shouldn't be too surprised on that, considering how things went in the previous two skirmishes. There we go. That's one on there. So, oh, Shepherd of Bill. Oh, okay. What I'm gonna have to do here is oh Alright, let's right, let's take care of him first. Just so he won't get in the way. Now, let's take care of the shepherd. Just kneel down so I c there we go. Now so I can interrupt you while you're doing it. It doesn't do me much good to stun him before he attempts to summon them. There we go. Now, because I suspect he'll just then still have an opportunity to do so. Oh, your turn! How about... Watch my cat! Yeah, that's why you should watch my cat! Because it'll kill you if you don't! Behold the ever powerful Monarch of the Hobbits. Nah, that doesn't sound right. Okay, we'll, we'll just have to destroy the place. Hey, you! I'm here to destroy your tower. Oh, and could you tell me where Mozak's located? And here is Illunin. Let us come. Let them come and meet their ending. Yes. And there you go. Oh, okay. You volunteer. Oh, that's right. You you were you weren't present during the earthquake, apparently. Okay, you'll hold the place, and I will go forward and valiantly destroy the rest of the enemy, right? Yep, I think that's the plan. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I could get him before he gets out of my range. 
you know, I'm just gonna smack you with a stick, Maverick. There you go. Assuming I don't overshoot you in the process, of course. All right, now, up here. Ah, now for the second floor. So he's no longer a hail. More like a hail storm on him. Too bad there isn't a hail storm. Spell for lore masters. Well, I guess in some ways the well wind lore. I guess that might have enough wind for a hailstorm. And all right, you go after it. And I'll just mash him up. All right, lower mustering hall. Captured! And we get an archer. Encounter from back down the hall, Hogwarts cells. The brigands of Breland and Dolgador shall be out. That's a pretty long distance between those two groups. Not too sure what the Dolgador gets out of this. Well, I guess they need some disposable minions. Oh, actually, yeah, that. Sometimes I need to remember all of my spells. And who is it this time? Ah, oh, yeah, someone I could easily deal with without having to deal with a giant tree smashing me in the. Well, I, I guess it's actually a wood troll, not a tree. If you want to fight trees, you'll have to do Storm of Methodist. There we go. And that was quite a while back where we did that one. That takes care of that. And then up to the third floor. Any mobs anywhere around here? Up, up, up. Ah! I finally found one. That means they're probably concentrated in the upper mustering hall. Right? I guess we'll find out in a moment. Uh, we'll probably have quite a collection in there. Let's see, can I have. Oh! Hog Award! I forgot about Hog Award! Well, okay, I am here at the moment. If I remember Hog Award, when the time comes, then great. Okay, you guys, you can do that, you can do that. I guess we're going to have Eorlith, or whatever her name is, because... Oh, actually, there's a possibility that we may get... Is it Lord who actually may also appear after you take this section? So, yeah, we have a couple of possibilities. And we might have one that will take us downstairs. Which would be fine. Okay, Mustering Hall is taken. Oh, it's taken, but the flag's not taken. There we go. Now! Alright, you go that way, and I'll go this way. And I like to meet them here so that I will be able to... Now, the idea of meeting them here is so that I will not endanger the NPC. Though it looks like I'm endangering myself in the process. Ah, oh. Okay. Oh, could you do me a favor and attack them? Yes, thank you. Alright. 
right, and it's your turn. Oh, defilers. Ah. Okay, now we have. Oh. And we want. Let's just. Oh, you survived. How did you survive that? You probably weren't in the storm, right? Yeah, most likely. And now... Oh, th there's a lot in this group. And Bloodbrooks, they have been the bane of NPCs in the past. It looks like, speaking of NPCs, my... My herbalist... <laughs> Just bit it, probably because blood rooks. Well, tier two blood rook with a couple of extra mobs with it. Yeah, that could be a problem. Okay, now I said I was going to go out and try to pick up Hogwarts if I remembered it, and for better or for worse, I did remember it. So all the way back down because. I forgot. See, I could have gone from here. Did I just... Yeah, I... Blurbed a little bit too much there. Alright, so there is Hog of War. Let's do that. Now, I don't know if it was a good idea for me to do... Murder on that, because we got the next thing is that we're going to have another encounter mob. I think it's, it's the, oh, uh, Eorlith or well anyway I'll see what our name is when we reach the area. And that's assuming I didn't miss an encounter somewhere else. Oh, this way! I guess I'll find out in a moment, which is the case. Maniacal laughter echoes from ahead. Okay, yeah, there's it. It is. Boy, did I get that wrong? Yes. Yarian. Yarian. Okay, well, while I wait for Murder Crows to get back up, I can pick off a few of these. Okay, and now it's your turn. Now, if I remember correctly, Iarian is probably one of those nasties that loves summoning. Let's see. I'd like to do it before the boss fight. Now, of course, I already have credit for killing her, so theoretically I could say... Actually, I don't know. Like some... some encounter mobs, they disappear after the boss fight, while others, they stay around and you can kill them afterwards, but you won't get credit for the deed that's involved in destroying them. And of course, you can't use the banners they drop, but then when do I remember to use the banners from these encounters? Actually, since I do have a real bad habit of forgetting them, I might as well have this up here. Oh, anyway, I blabbed long enough for Murder Crows to be back up. And there you go. Now, of course, this means I won't have. There you go. See, I forgot to even. I even forgot to use it again. All right, I guess it's time for the boss fight, where we hear a speech from Mazog. What is this? Is this a trick? You cannot have been such a fool to come here. I feared I would need to hunt you down, but you have saved me the trouble. You caused me so much trouble while you were alive. Yeah, that's because I'm a tuck bro troublemaker. Is that even my title right now? No, I'm a stopper of thievery and mischief. Well, he did plenty of th thievery and mischief, so... Just about to... Hey, he might... Would he talk long enough in order to take care of the cooldown for murder of crows? 
that uh, I don't think he even he talks that long. Well, all right, so I'm going to have to kill him the hard way, I guess. There we go. I swore to end you, Mazog, and I will see it done. It's not to be, Lily Dwarf. I came to this chi chamber for a reason. With this axe of me through, you, ye not even the ruler of the towers, can keep Mazog a prisoner. Uh huh. Okay, well, you got 20 seconds to stick around before I. Switch over. Oh, actually, I, I can use this. There you go. A lightning storm. That's one way to... Of course, I have one twip. Oh, do I have a fish slap on this character? Probably not. But... There's always that. Alright, as we wait for you to finish up, talk about how high and mighty you are, how there will be an orc to slay any dwarf that tries to take any silver or gold from the mines. But apparently, Bruin has taken an oath also. And somehow I have the feeling it involves an axe and an orc. With the usual relationship that dwarves have with axes and orcs. Dwarf kills Orc with Axe. There you go. And I will take this. Good. We have completed the Battle of the Tower, which is the last of the skirmishes that are set in Mirkwood. And it is the penultimate skirmish that you unlock, because there is one more skirmish that we have remaining and that is, of course, Rescue at Nurs Gashu, where we are going to be entering into the Rift. And we'll be seeing that in the next episode of Skirmishing 102.